Hot Wheelers, what's happening? Joe Motors, back with you here for another video. Talking a little Johnny Lightning here this evening. Picked up, picked up a few pieces that I uh, thought I would uh, share with you. This first one here is um, from a Johnny Retro series. Release 4. I believe this came out... Uh, let's see when this came out. This came in the learning curve era. Looks like we have 2008 or so, and this is a um, 69 AMC Javelin. It's got a really cool uh, copper brown finish. Painted tail lights. Very nice looking piece. Very cool series from uh, Johnny Lightning. Yet another great series. I actually have this car loose, so I'm going to show that one to you up close. Here you go. That way you can see the finish really nice. It's just almost like a Spectre Flame, but it's really, really shiny. Just like more of a chromed finish. You have Javelin there on the tail light. And you've got a really nice white interior. Let's see if I can get you up close in there to see that white interior, because it's nice. Lots of texture. Really nice. Beautiful plastic wheels. Again, the Johnny Lightning plastic wheels really don't bother me. You can see the Javelin logo here on the side of the car, if I can get it to focus right. Side marker. Painted headlights and blinkers, and then here's the uh, under the hood. A little green detail there. And the hood doesn't shut exactly tight, but it's okay. Still a really awesome little piece right there. Uh, and that's from the, the Retro series. Just happened to have that one loose and carded. And then this next one, man, this one is blowing my mind a little bit. This is from the Racing Legends series. Uh, also, Learning Curve. Uh, this is the Righteous Judge. Take a look at this car. Beautiful orange finish. Look at all that detail on the top there, those crazy patterns. Got those goat tail lights. Some mean dragster right there. And I want to crack this so bad, but the packaging is just top notch. Look at that. And I always love these cards that show the schematic of the car design and the colors and everything. And you've got this little uh, light tree here for the dragster. And each one of the ones in this series came with one of those. So there's a couple other cars in this series I want to pick up. And I'll be sure to share them if I do. But that is pretty awesome. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Again, where this is the learning curve era, so the packaging was super snazzy. If you want to read that, you can. Pause it. And then this one is uh, Learning Curve 2009. But uh, that car is blowing my mind right now. Super cool. So I'm going to probably get a second one and crack that, and I'll show it if I ever if I ever get it cracked. Um, here's a piece from the, I believe the, uh, uh, I don't know what series this is, 2.0 maybe? 1972 Chevy Vega Warren Johnson. Really cool design. Got the uh, blown motor in the hood there. Show you the back real quick. I'm going to crack this one so make sure we get the packaging all figured out here and again this is also learning curve and this is 2010 see down there on the bottom if you're interested in any of that but uh, pretty cool looking piece so let's crack it open love these little metal cars from the uh, learning curve era it's a really cool design all the way around. Show you once around on that. Really cool. Black interior. Lots of little decals. Little bitty details on it. Check out the uh, Base, 
tread on the front, slicks on the back, ready to drag down the strip, man. That is awesome. I'll take see if we can get a better look at the under the hood, maybe. A little bit. So that one's awesome. And speaking of the Vega and the Racing Legends series that we just looked at here, uh, this car right here came in the Racing Legends series as well, and it's also a Vega. So check this out, Don Schumacher's Wonder Wagon. Really awesome, just iconic looking dragster right here, funny car. This one uh, came in a lot of different colors and a lot of different castings. Well, not castings, but just colorways. So there's several versions of this, but this one's definitely my favorite. Just beautiful, kind of a satin gold finish with that polka dot color pattern. Nice Goodyear rear tires, front tires. Exhaust coming out the side, lots of good little decals and texture on the bottom here. Tail lights and our little parachute. Really awesome. Take a look at the base really quick. Got your 71 Chevy Vega funny car. This is from the still have playing mantis on the base, even though it came out under the uh Learning Curve brand. And then here we go. Here's the moment you've all been waiting for. Has this little plastic piece, which is kind of delicate, but you can use that to kind of prop up the car. And then you've got your awesomeness happening there. A little roll cage. Anyway, that's a beautiful, funny car. I don't really collect all the funny cars because that'd be a whole nother wall of display if I wanted to get into all the dragsters, but this one just caught my eye. And this series, the Racing Legends series, um, is just too good to too good to pass up. So I picked up that one loose. I may get that one carded too. I don't know. Uh, moving on here, and the last piece I think I'm going to show you is this beautiful piece, which is also from the 2.0 series, I believe. And this is the the Jolly Green Giant GTO. Little street race car there with the Brad and Pontiac Corporation on the back. Beautiful green finish. I love the, the tires on the back here. That's awesome. No hubcaps on the back. White line tire on the front. Got the goat double headlights in the front here. Painted tail lights with the ho 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 green giant on the back. That's not a Santa Claus, ho, ho, ho. That's a green giant. Lots of nice little details on these Johnny Lightnings. As many of you know who collect and check out these Johnny Lightnings. Here's, check out under the hood really quick. There you go. So, another beautiful piece. Now, you may notice here on the side, Arnie Beswick. Have you seen that name before? Well, it just so happens it's on this car, too, on the Righteous Judge. Arnie Beswick is on the side of that one, too, so must be a racing legend that I should probably know more about, but uh, Johnny Lightning sure did uh, pay tribute to him on two really awesome cars. All right, so I'm going to do a close-up of the loose pieces here, and that'll be it for this Johnny Lightning video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. Got a green light video coming up next and some other stuff, so hope you'll tune in for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.